Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is another great applications video, so it is available for any Android device. And uh, to be honest, it's probably more suited to a smartphone device in terms of its functionality and its appearance. But it does have some very useful features for using on a tablet. And that application is a system utility application called One Tap Cleaner. And what this actually does is often when you have to clear defaults, clear cache, clear memory and so on, you have to go through a series of options in the settings buttons on the Android operating system. But what this does is um, brings everything together into just basically one click. It shows everything all on one page and then you can decide to clear it all or clear a few things um, individually. So let's go into the application straight away and we'll see some of the options that we have when we just finish, finish with it. Um, doing its thing. So we have some options here, clear cache, history cleaner, call and text cleaner, obviously we're not going to use that on the Prime, uh, default cleaner which is probably the uh, biggest feature that I want to show you and then a couple of options to advertise other things on the, uh, I suppose that what the developer can actually show for you. So if we go to um, the first thing which is to clear cache, what this is now doing is it's showing that um, it I've created 153 meg of cache and uh, it's asking me do I want to clear them all. I'm not going to do them all just yet, I'm just going to show you a quick breakdown of everything. So as you can see here on Dolphin which is my main browser, there's um, a total of 36 meg that's been used and then Distro which is a magazine um, program that's got 59 meg. So it just slowly builds up over time and I must admit that after about two or three months of using the Prime um, I think I created about 600 meg worth of cache data so I wanted to get rid of it all and uh, simply I just went to, up to the top and used the clear all cache files and I must admit I did um, see a, a bit of a improvement in the actual performance on the Asus Transformer Prime, so it had clogged up a little bit. Uh, the other big feature that I want to show you, uh, of course I'm sure you'll understand what history cleaner is, cleaning passwords and, and um, sites you previously visited. Um, so I want to go straight onto this one which is a default cleaner and as I've shown you on a couple of occasions uh, when you launch a browser for example uh, it will automatically default to a dolphin or if you have the home launcher, when you press the home screen, where does it actually go? I've got this set to currently go launch a HD and it looks as though the gallery is being launched whenever I want to look at a picture. If I select there, I can actually clear the defaults. Uh, so if I select them as I have done and then use the clear selected defaults, uh, what will happen is there, I've cl cleared the defaults, I hope. Um, or maybe it's going to go to go launch and then it's giving me the option to clear the default. So I guess I'll do that there now. And then when I use a home screen, obviously because the default's been cleared, it's going to ask me uh, which home launcher do I want to use. So it's a good way, I think, of clearing many of the defaults, although I thought it was going to show the browser default as well, but it hasn't done that, which is a bit of a shame. And um, so there's just something down here to clear defaults, scroll to launch by default and tap a clear defaults button, which I have done. I'm not sure why that's staying on screen. That is a bit irritating. Let's see if I can get rid of that. There we are, done. And uh, now it's asking me again, so would you like to um, set Do Dolphin as your default browser? So it actually did uh, clear the internet browser as well, although it looks as though it hadn't done, done it properly. Um, there we are, so now it's asking me to make Dolphin uh, my browser. So although it not, didn't show it, uh, it actually has done it, so it did clear the default. So there we are, um, a good application there for just clearing your defaults very quickly when you have a number of defaults running. So let's just have a look at the settings and see what we can do in the settings. And there's your settings, just showing you there. So yeah, uh, a very simple application, free of course, and it's just a good way of clearing cache and defaults very quickly. Hope you found this video useful. As usual, subscribe, comment, like and so on. Visit my Facebook page and Twitter feed and I'll see you again soon in another video very soon. Thanks for watching guys.